We've visited many beaches throughout the state, and in this video, we're going to give you our top five beaches in Southwest Florida. We make all kinds of videos about moving to Florida and all the fun things that you can do once you get there. So if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe down below, hit that bell so you don't miss any of our uploads, and make sure you give this video the big thumbs up. Now let's get right into the video. Sunshine, blue skies, it's a state of mind that we came to find. I'm talking about palm trees, we're making memories. I don't want to leave this sunshine state of mind. I'm going to count these beaches down from number five to the number one beach in Southwest Florida. And let's start with number five. And this might come as a surprise to many of you because you hear us talk about it all the time as our favorite beach, and it is Honeymoon Island. Now, Honeymoon Island is a state park just north of Clearwater. The park has tons of amenities, including restrooms, a playground, showers, and a restaurant. There is lots of parking and beach chairs, umbrellas, kayaks, and paddle boards are available to rent. Best of all, the south end of the park even allows dogs. Now, what you hear us talk about all the time is the north end of the park, and this is our favorite spot because it has calm waters that are protected by a seawall. It's great for families with small children or anyone wanting to enjoy water sports like paddleboarding or kayaking. The beach also boasts great fishing for species like snook, sea trout, flounder, pompano, redfish, mackerel, and even tarpon. And as you may have seen before, we've even caught sharks here. After the beach, you can enjoy the park's 2.5 mile walking trail. At number four on our list is a beach that we spent an entire week at, and that is Naples Beach. Now Naples is located way down in Southwest Florida, and it's host to a gorgeous white sand beach with turquoise waters that gives you that true Caribbean feel. There are public restrooms, showers, picnic tables, concessions, and a variety of vendors on the beach that you can rent chairs, umbrellas, and water toys from. There's even awesome snorkeling right off the beach where you'll be able to see tropical fish, seashells, sand dollars, and even starfish. The Naples Pier is over a thousand feet long and is a sight to be seen by itself. From the pier, you'll be able to enjoy some beautiful sunsets and even some great fishing. And after you're done on the beach, make sure you take a drive parallel to the beach and check out some of the awesome mansions that Naples has. At number three on our list is another beach that we have visited a lot and that is Siesta Key. You may be wondering, why is Siesta Key only number three on your list? Well, keep watching, because number one and number two are going to blow you away. Siesta Key was actually ranked the number one beach in the USA by TripAdvisor in the year of 2020, but this year has actually dropped to number 17. The beach itself has soft white sand, a gentle breeze, and not too many shells to step on. On top of that, it's huge. There's plenty of parking and also the typical amenities like restrooms, showers, and beach rentals. It truly feels like an island paradise. The beach is also home to many events like a sand sculpture festival and a weekly drum circle that is famous. All right guys, so we've made it to number two on the list. We're gonna travel a little bit south and check out Sanibel Island. While most barrier islands are orientated north to south, Sanibel Island actually has an east to west orientation. Because of this, it's one of the best places to hunt for seashells in Florida. You can find basic restrooms at each beach access point and parking is going to cost you $5 an hour. Plus, you can bring your furry friend on the sand with you. As with all the beaches on this list, you'll be able to find vendors to rent things like beach chairs, umbrellas, paddle boards, or kayaks from to explore the island. And the water is perfect for a casual snorkeler. All right, guys, we've made it to number one on the list. Can you guess what it is? I'll give you a second. If you guessed Anna Maria Island, you are correct. Anna Maria Island is absolutely breathtaking and in my opinion, extremely underrated. The island itself is made up of a bunch of individual beaches including Coquina Beach, Holmes Beach, Manatee Beach, Bean Point, and Bradenton Beach. The whole island has that, well, island feel to it, with quaint shops and eateries, and the whitest and most finest sand that you'll probably ever see. 
rentals are abundant, and the sunsets are out of this world. Best of all, free parking can be found throughout the island. Well, that's it. Did I miss a beach that you think should be on this list? Let us know in the comments down below. We would love to hear about it. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.